Thank you for joining me. I will be discussing mathematical reasoning from early years to Key Stage 1. This is a large focus for a small talk, but my main reasoning here will be on developing low threshold, high ceiling approaches with rich context and questioning. Learners within early years to Key Stage 1 have a range of attainment skills and understanding. But it's often thought that mathematics in the early years is only about counting. And this can downplay the aspects of building mathematical thinking and reasoning. Of course, number and counting is, is involved here. But what I'm, I am looking at particularly here is drawing on the low threshold, high ceiling activities that particularly promote mathematical thinking by making connections to patterns, representations, proportionality, and making generalizations. Making connections to books and rich storybooks are particularly useful here. With this one, 10 Little Superheroes, it goes on to 10 Little um, Robots, 10 Little Pirates, there are lots of these books. There are very strong links here to number, but with models, you can also make strong links here to proportionality and reasoning about size and proportion and scale. So how big are the superheroes? How do you know? Draw a superhero twice as big. With the how do you know question, it's a very rich um, open question that draws particularly on conjecturing and convincing. How do you know the size of these superheroes? What can you relate it to? So drawing on the proportionality and the difference of size. With another context of taking a similar similar thing like the um, the, the um, superheroes, or in this case, 10 little pirates go outside and that making links to an outside environment. Um, but that particularly links to space and shape too in a, in a different size, it's a different area. So they might find a house. How big is the house? Who might live there? They find a giant's coin. How tall might the giant be? So making that relationship to linking of proportionality and how big something is in relation to another. With this activity here, um, with 10 little pirates and their, uh, their treasure, this time they find the giant's coin, they might find treasure too. Where will they bury that treasure? So thinking about space and shape and what that space looks like on the ground. Make a pirate treasure map. Pace it out on, in steps on the playground, in a space, a, a sand pit or in a forest school setting. And the links to forest schools here are very, are very useful because with this particular picture, it's taken in a, um, an area of woods where there are uh, um, seats that are uh, carved. And so this one with the little models in that setting makes particular use of it. Finding simple landmarks and drawing it out on paper here is also useful. Tell a friend the route, and that uses positional language, which is particularly useful with links to literacy here of using prepositions, but also um, thinking about that positional language with the prepositions of what is behind something, what is in front, what is above, what is below, what is next to, what might be behind that house. So making those links to language with conjecturing and convincing and also um, with the idea of mapping something out in space. With this, we've extended the outside um, context to looking at patterns. And you'll see lots of patterns in nature in terms of flowers and petals and sunflower seeds. But this one in particular is a pattern of, um, of concrete blocks. And these bricks are made that tessellate. So you come to um, an activity like this which particularly looks at the tessellating patterns and how they fit together and they tessellate. So the one on the right here 
is different because it particularly fits it's a tessellating shape but also it looks like an array and there are particular con connections here to number with how many holes and how do you know and how how can you be convinced so questions such as what do you notice what is the same and what is different what does one look brick look like and if you were to draw one brick that looked from that river, what would it look like? How do you know it fits together with another brick? Draw the pattern, carry on the pattern outside the picture. So extending that picture outwards with the picture in the middle of the paper, what would the rest of the picture of the river look like? How do you know? Draw, draw your own brick pattern and tell a friend. So if you would like further information or to join us on our courses for teachers, we run a postgraduate certificate course for mathematics specialist teaching, and we run them both for primary and secondary. You don't have to be a specialist mathematics teacher because that's what this course also does. It, um, it works on your own subject knowledge as well as pedagogical knowledge in mathematics. And it's a long standing program and it used to be referred to as the master program, but we now refer to it as the postgraduate certificate. If you would like further information on on any of um, those courses, you can contact me on the email below. Thank you very much for joining me today.